right, how's it going? So today I'm going to be experimenting with AI and seeing the capabilities for it to build relational SQL database. I am a uh, data uh, product manager building an SQL database for my ice cream startup company. I am interested in measuring all the various business metrics involved with operating, marketing, scaling, and supplying the the business spelled that wrong yep okay so um let's uh ask it to generate some data for us so build a relational database or an ice cream startup Let's see what that does. Okay, that's really good. So we have the first table, business metrics, operating, um, employee data, customer data. Um, let's also add order information. So I think we wanna increase the maximum amount of tokens. So this is the length. Um, add a table or Ice cream, cream orders and add another table for ice cream flavors. That's an important part of the data. Cool. So I just had to generate all the different data right now. Create a primary key and secondary key relationship between all of the tables wherever um, relationship between tables where it applies to the business process. So this isn't very clear and the clearer we are and the better that we do with giving it information, the better the response will be, but let's see what it does. Nice. Okay. So now it created and turned it into primary and secondary keys. So we're seeing the relationship here business metrics, um, cool, 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 marketing expenses, sales, inventory, cool. All right, now we're gonna turn this, turn these tables into SQL script. Nice. And so now what it did is I asked it to turn into SQL script. So literally, um, this is basically like building a data schema uh, straight from AI and, and getting from zero to one for an ice cream startup, right? So over here, I declared what I am um, to the AI and what some of my goals and objectives are. So that I gave it some direction, which is probably why the first table is business metrics because um, I put that I'm interested in doing business metrics. So uh, here has the second table, customer data is super important if you wanna measure business metrics and then employee data for internal data capturing. Now I asked it to generate more tables, um, an ice cream order, uh, an ice cream order table and an ice cream flavors table 
in order to have some product information. Um, I took all that and then I asked it to create primary and secondary key relationships, which is what you would do in the software building process regardless as a PM. So turn these tables into an SQL script. Perfect. And now you literally can copy and paste this into SQL. I think the last thing that I'll ask it is to generate some, let's generate some sam sample data. So list all the table names. Okay. Give one record example for each table name. Wow, 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 wow. This has just blown my mind. Um, I needed to increase the maximum length of, of it so that I can give more tokens, which is why I didn't give back so much like data and didn't finish with all of the different tables. But here you can see, right? Operating costs, marketing costs, customer uh, customer ID, which is the unique identifier, the primary key, a name, address, all this information. Wow, wow, wow. You could do this and let's see one more use case, right? Let's try to generate 10 sample records for ice cream flavor table. Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. I hope that y'all can see the power of AI and how I basically built out an entire SQL database um, from scratch in, what is it, maybe five, 10 minutes. I ex uh, encourage everyone to explore um, OpenAI.